What's up YouTube, it's your boy Fab here, and today I'm going to show you guys the best Power 4 build in NBA 2K23. One thing about Power 4 builds, guys, it's not going to change too much. You make this Power 4 build, you're set for the rest of 2K. Power 4 is the one position that doesn't change. I'm going to give you two Power 4 options, so let's get right into the video, guys. Remember, Power 4s do not change. What, what you make now is going to last you for a long time, so let's get right into the video. Right away, guys, we're going to make them 6'9". We're gonna make him 214. We're gonna put his weight all the way down 214. We're gonna put his wingspan all the way up and then put Define. Define gives you like an inch or two on your wingspan. So we're gonna put Define right here. Wingspan 7 7, 214, 6'9. We're gonna make his driving dunk 86 driving dunk, guys, for that golden list takeoff. We don't need that much finishing badges because put this to 53. One right here. Boom. Layup one. We don't need that much finishing badges, guys, because we're not going to be the primary source of the offense. But we will dunk on people when we get the ball on the break with the 86 driving dunk. So we got the 86 driving dunk. We're going to put the three pointer up to a 80. Put that three pointer up to 80. Boom, right here. Put the midi up to 89. Put the freezer to 61. Then we're going to put the pass accuracy to 76. Get that 76 pass accuracy. Then this is a good part right here the defense. We want the 84 interior, put the 84 interior up, put the 88 perimeter defense up, boom, put the 88 interior, I mean, I said interior perimeter, put that 88 perimeter right there, 90 steel for that gold interceptor, guys, that 90 steel for gold interceptor, we got 99 block for Hall of Fame anchor, we got 84 offensive rebound, boom, we're going to put our defensive rebound to 94, boom. 94, we get that Hall of Fame box uh, beast. Put our speed to 81, so we're really fast. 81 speed. Put our XL to 77. Our strength down one to 59. Put our vertical to 93. Our stamina to 82. So, boom. This 6 9 build, guys, if you guys don't know, the 6 9 guards pick and roll and pro am. And can name 6 9 guards pick and roll. So. You're one of the best defenders on the court. You got s silver clamps. You can switch on ball. You got 90 steel. You play the passing lanes. You got 99 block. You can chase people down, lock up the bigs in the paint. You got a high defensive rebound. You got a high offensive rebound. You're really fast. You got 81 speed. You can shoot. You can make passes. You can dunk. So this is a 6-9 build a lot of people are rocking with, guys. A lot of people are rocking with this 6-9 build. Usually people run 6-9 builds when they got a 7-3 center guarding the corner. So 6-9 is guarding the pick and roll. Then you have a 7-3 center in the corner. You know, you play defense, whatever. But if you guys have a 7-foot center, you guys made the other center build I, I showed you guys on this YouTube. If you guys have a 7-foot center on your team and your 7-foot center guards pick and roll, I suggest you make a 7-foot power forward. Uh, $30,000 champ, Glowski. Ran a seven foot power forward. He guards the corner. He has a high defensive rebound and he swoops in, grabs all the rebounds when Dimes plays defense. Dimes guards pick and roll with seven foot center. So the only way I suggest not making this build is if your center is seven feet tall. If your center is seven three, I suggest making this build, this six nine build right here. If your center is seven three, make this build right here. If your center is seven foot tall and he could guard pick and roll, make Glowski's build, which I'm gonna show you right here. It's a seven foot power forward build, which is best if you have a seven foot center guard pick and roll. So we're gonna move on to this. You see with the takeovers, you get every badge pretty much. You get sharp, you get lock, you get rim protector, you get glass, you get every badge pretty much. So we're just gonna do limitless and we're gonna do we're gonna do glass, boom. So we're just gonna do limbless and glass, see what we get. Limbless and box that wall. Let's see what we get, let's see what we get. All right, we get Jaron Jackson, Jason Tatum, which is really crazy because Jaron Jackson is going to win Defensive Player of the Year. And Jason Tatum, man, you know, from St. Louis, I'm from St. Louis, so I love Jason Tatum, MVP candidate, and you get Defensive Player of the Year. So in one build, you get Defensive Player of the Year candidate and an MVP, so. I think this is the best power forward build in the game. You make this build, you don't have to make another power forward again. Or you could go with the seven foot option, guys. If you have a seven foot center guard in the pick and roll, if you have a seven three center on your team, make this build and guard pick and roll yourself, and have fun and enjoy those wins, guys. We're on the road to 10k. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy Fab, and I'm out.